an ugly concrete block. This is what this former church is being called. And yet, it is really interesting, simply because this place is so distinctive from other sacred buildings. These photos were shot around a month before our exploration of the site, but also only a few weeks before an arsonist caused a fire brigade operation at the former house of God. In the hope that the flames didn't destroy everything, we traveled to this unusual church this summer. It's that time of the year again. The BWT crew is in festive spirit and in celebration of Urbex Mass, we started a giveaway where you can win our recently released merchandise. Find out how to participate by taking a look in the video description down below. avoid any unwanted attention, we had to take the most inconspicuous way to the property we could imagine. After measuring the pros and cons, we decided to wade through the water of the nearby small river. Even though it was really unpleasant, it was the best choice in our view. After the fire and shortly before our visit, the area was fenced off tightly and the adjacent road is heavily trafficked. So the only way to get inside the church unseen was this one. great relief, the damage by the fire wasn't as bad as we thought, although large parts of the building complex were already scarred by vandalism. Fortunately, the large hall had been spared the worst. The third crew member was already waiting inside, so the exploration could finally start. This was the church of a Catholic parish, which lost their former Lord's house in World War II. Back then, the building had been destroyed during an air raid. After that, it took around 40 years until the new church was built under the regime of the German Democratic Republic. The groundbreaking ceremony was in 1980. Two years later, the building complex on the property of 5,000 square meters was finished. After 
After only 20 years, structural damages were noticed in the church. It is said that the foundation is compromised because of moisture and construction defects. Allegedly, a newly constructed church was supposed to be as expensive as the permanent remediation of this one. So, a new one was built. In 2015, the last mass took place here. The church was then desecrated and the parish moved to the new building. In the old house of prayer, you can even find a model of the new church. But the new one is quite controversial. It's ranked as the biggest new build of a church in Eastern Germany and it costs around 13 million euros. So the remediation of the old church would have been a lot cheaper. Wie Lebensmittel und Medikamente unsere Kinder krank machen. Was ist das denn? Und was Eltern dagegen tun können. Schauen wir mal rein. Oh, hier sind 69 Grad Fahrenheit drin. Ja. Anscheinend. Wow, hört sich richtig an wie ein F. Jetzt hören wir uns mal den Moll an. The thing which fascinated us the most was the organ. Unfortunately, the organ has been destroyed almost entirely by thieves. After the church was abandoned, there were a lot of housebreakings and thefts. Next to parts of the organ, even radiators and door handles were stolen by metal thieves, as well as a bell that weighed about 240 kilograms. It was around 80 years old and was part of the old church, which was destroyed in World War II. We were surprised how big the organ actually was. Although all three of us were standing inside the instrument, Every single one of us had sufficient space to move around. The building complex wasn't only used as a church, but also as a parish center. There were seminar rooms and offices. We even found recreation rooms for youth groups. And apparently, there were apartments too. We discovered the rooms which have been on fire. Everything was black and charred and there was an unpleasant smell. To 
our surprise there were price tags on some of the furnishings. As it seems, citizens could buy these when the facility closed down. A few months ago, the property was sold to a real estate company. Although the former church is protected as a historic monument, it is allowed to knock the place down. It's highly likely that this will be happening soon. New housings could arise here, because rents in this neighborhood are increasing faster than in most other parts of the city. So as it seems, this church will fall victim to gentrification. We hope you liked today's episode. Did you already participate in our Urbex Miss giveaway? You can find all the info in the video description. Next week, we will upload the next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.